Hey everyone, today I will show you how to set up and install the R15 router. In the box, you should have received a router, a power adapter, and install documentation. For this setup, I will be using an Android phone. However, if you're using an iPhone or an iPad, the steps will be similar. In order to set up the router, you'll need to download the Ego Pro AI app from the Google Play Store. If you're using an iPhone or an iPad, you can download the app from the App Store. Launch the Google Play Store on your device, search for Eagle Pro AI, and install the app. To begin the setup, launch the Eagle Pro AI app. To use this app, you will need to sign up for a free D-Link account. If you already have an existing My D-Link account, then tap Sign In, otherwise follow the on-screen prompts to sign up. I already have an account, so I will use that to sign in with. Tap Install New Device. Tap on Scan and scan the QR code that is on the bottom of the router or on the Quick Install card. This router can be configured as a router or as an extender. In this example, we will configure this as a router. Tap Set Up New Network. Unplug the power to your modem and make sure all the lights are off. If you still have lights lit, then please remove the battery from your modem. Tap Next. Connect an Ethernet cable from your modem to the yellow internet port on the router. Then tap Next. Power your modem back on. If you remove the battery from your modem, Reinsert it prior to powering the modem on. Tap Next. Plug in the router to a power outlet. Tap Next. Once the status LED is solid white, tap Next. Most Android devices will automatically connect to the default signal of your router. You may also be prompted to connect to the signal. If you're using an iPhone or an iPad, you'll be prompted to join the network. And when your device connects to the signal of the router, you may get a prompt advising you that there is no internet on this network. Just tap Keep Trying Wi-Fi. The router will detect your internet connection automatically. In this example, the router is connected to a cable modem. If you have a DSL modem, then you may be prompted for additional information. Here you have the option to change the default Wi-Fi network name and password of your router. In this example, I will change this to home and I will also change the Wi-Fi password. Once done, tap next. You will need to configure the admin password for your router. This password is required to log into your router settings when you want to make changes to your configuration. This is not your Wi-Fi password. Tap next. Here you have the option to give your device a name. This is the name that you will use if using voice commands with Google or Alexa. This can be changed at a later time as well. In this example, I don't need to change the name, so I will just tap Next. Here you will see a summary of the changes you have made. I would recommend making a note of this information for future use. Tap Save. The router is now being linked to the D-Link cloud server. Your changes are being applied to the router and rebooting. If you've changed the Wi-Fi network of the router and you're using an Android device, you will be automatically connected to the signal of the router. In some cases, you may be prompted to connect to the network. If you're using an iPhone or an iPad, you'll be prompted to join the signal of the router. Setup is now complete. Tap Finish. You can now manage the router using the Eagle Pro AI app. Thank you for watching. For more videos and other helpful resources on how to get the most out of your D-Link device, please visit support.dlink.ca or support.dlink.com.